Hi, my name is Rakesh. I welcome you to Expo Hub Automation Wall Channel. Today we are going to learn Create Test Bench. What is Create Test Bench and how to utilize this specific option. Okay. Before that, to understand this, let me give you a little background. Let's say you have a very big project. Okay. And somebody asked you, go ahead and make such changes to the project. But you are little concerned because you do not want to touch anything to the main.xml because you might end up with something wrong right so you do not like to literally work on the main.xml until unless you are very confident about that module you are going to add so you are, you are going to make some changes so until unless you are very confident you don't want to make any changes to the main.xml file so you want to test it separately if everything works fine then you want to bring it up to the main.xml so in such condition so this is one of the example in such condition you feel there should be a separate place for you where you can test all, all of this. All right? So one way you will say, okay, I can open another UiPath Studio instance and do it. Yeah, that is also possible. But technically, UiPath has given you an option to do it. So let's understand how to literally use that called test bench. So test bench is for that where you can test your module. And once you are confident, once it you know it works, then you can add it to your main.xml file so how to do that so you can get the or create the test bench on any of let's say i want to start my new changes from the get text activity or you can pick any activity okay and then later you can change it so here i am picking get text activity and clicking on create test bench and that is possible with any activity if you right click you will get this so now once you do it you can see there's a yellow banner which is coming you may now edit the properties of the get text activity press debug file when you're ready so you can you want to test this particular activity if this activity is the change that you want to make if this activity is capable of doing that required change so now let's say i want to test this get text activity so what i will do remember a couple of points the moment you create test bench bench this is a temporary XML file. This is a temporary XML file. Why it is temporary? If you go to your project, you would not find something called test bench. Do you see? It is only main.xml file or other XML files that you have. But you will not find a test bench related XML file. So this is temporary. In case you would like to save it and then invoke and call it back, then you can go to design and save it. Generally, how you save a XML file. So that is one way. But this is temporary, so you can do whatever needed make changes and experiment once you find everything is okay you can copy this and paste it into the main.xml file so let's do an experiment here in the get text activity so i have let's say new york temperature on my google chrome page and it's saying 10 degrees celsius so i wanted to click on indicate on screen highlight the temperature okay i just wanted to see if it is doing the work or not now i will utilize a message box and in the get text activity, I'll create a variable control plus K. Let's say get text output. I'm creating a variable just to capture that particular output. Go to the variable panel. Always when you create a variable, so it is string type. Very good. Now in the message box, what I wanted to do is I'll use the get text output. Fine. So I got the output. Now let's test it. So to test it, what you can do is go to the debug. So there are so many things okay so so you want to do a debug of file right this is just a file xml file you don't want to do for the project anyways you have the debug file so let me run it so the xml file so what is happening the first one there is a pause breakpoint has been applied by default so you can hit on continue and it has given me the output that I wanted. So I am satisfied with the new change now. Just imagine you are satisfied and it is working the way you wanted. So here what I can do is I will just copy this and go to my main.xml file. Let me stop this. Okay. So once you stop, let's say you are satisfied with this. So I am going to copy it and wherever in your main.xml. So I don't have a project in the back end, but wherever in your main.xml you want to add it. So you can copy paste it okay so i've added into just imagine you have i have added into the main.xml file so like that you can make a small small module you can take out 
test it if everything is all right then come back to your main.xml and add it or save it as a separate xml file and you can call it using invoke work workflow file right so these are the various methods that you can utilize so create test bench is for that purpose which gives you a temporary space to test your activities and once you are confident you can add them into your main.xml so it is a test a place a temporary place to test your activities all right so this is just an example for you to understand how your create test bench could help you and thank you for watching if you liked this video make sure to subscribe because subscribing is very much important reason being more content we bring it in if you are connected you get to utilize that knowledge and it is going to help you in your long run to become a uipath rpa developer so ensure to subscribe and please do like to support our channel please like the videos with that request thank you very much you guys have a wonderful day and we are going to meet again in the next video thank you bye bye